this week on the Trend Out Loud podcast. And if I were Jewish, I would literally be on every single blog and every single podcast. I would literally be kicking and screaming. Adidas had made a decision to cut ties with Yeezy brand, cut ties with Kanye West, and no longer sell Yeezys. They also made an announcement that they were stuck with $1.3 billion worth of inventory, Yeezy inventory, and they didn't know what they were going to do with it. So after months of back and forth and them coming out uh, with their fist, with their year end, saying that they're losing money, saying that their shareholders are um, about to sue them uh, for uh, profit losses, Adidas has now come out and said that they're going to release the Yeezys. The way that I look at it is that if Kanye West was a white man and he made racist comments and Adidas decided that they want to cut ties with him and then months later they decided to sell the product, as a black man, I'd be pissed. So it's only fair that the Jewish community be really pissed at this and all of us who decided that we wanted to support the Jewish community for Kanye West's anti-Semitic remarks, we all should be pissed. You can't have a choice of when you want to be pissed and when you not want to be pissed. Like Kanye West made anti-Semitic remarks. He lost contracts. He lost deals, et cetera, et cetera. And Adidas was one of the last ones to come out and say, we are dropping Kanye West because of his anti-Semitic remarks. You can't backtrack on that for dollars. Like this is such a horrible decision that Adidas is making. Now, I'm not surprised. I have worked with uh, upper management at Adidas for close to 10 years with Exu City, and I have had my problems with Adidas. I actually have a chapter in my book about Adidas and the decisions they make. And this is yet just another horrible decision. And as an entrepreneur, I understand that decisions have to be made. I understand inventory. I understand profits. I understand losses. I get all that. But here's two things. It's not like Adidas is on the verge of bankruptcy, right? Like, they have $1.3 billion worth of inventory. Now, I don't know if that $1.3 billion is cost or it's the retail price, but I'm pretty sure that it's the retail price, meaning the money they have in that $1.3 billion is probably around $700 million. For a company the size of Adidas that sells over $20 billion a year, for them to lose $700 million, it's not a lot of money. I would understand if they were like on the verge of bankruptcy or they were on the verge of collapse or like something catastrophic and they were like, hey, our backs up against the wall. We really wanted to sever ties with Yeezy, but you know, because of these huge financial decisions or losing or like this is to, to say you're going to lose $700 million or even a billion dollars and you're a $20 billion company. And then the second thing is that, yo, Kanye has yet to apologize. He's yet to come out and make a formal statement saying that he regrets the comments that he made towards the Jewish community. He realized that those anti-Semitic remarks were wrong, et cetera, et cetera. So unless those two things happen, like your company's on the verge of bankruptcy, your back's up against the wall, or, or Kanye West comes out with this press release and says, listen, Adidas and I have come to an agreement. I would like to make an apology. I would like to do this. And we've come to an agreement that we're selling the rest of our inventory, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But the way how they've done this, and it just blurted out on social media that Adidas is going to go back to selling Yeezys and they're going to sell the inventory. And the one thing that Adidas says to try to smooth things over is that a portion of the profits are going to go towards charities that Kanye West's remarks hurt. Like, Come on, man. Like I said, as a black man, if there's a white person that said something that was racist and a company decided that they want to sever ties with them because they haven't apologized and because of those remarks, and you want to come back now and say, okay, well, we're going to go back on our word and we're going to sell Yeezys, but we're going to make uh, a, a donation. Part of the profits, a portion of the profits um, are going to go towards um, black charities. Yo, I would be so mad. So I just want to make sure that I keep that same energy, man. It's super important to always keep that same energy. I do not agree with Adidas's decision to sell Yeezy again without having Kanye West come out, make a formal apology, make a formal statement, and Adidas come back and say, because Kanye has made these apologies, et cetera, et cetera, we are still deciding that we do not, we do not want to do business with them. However, the remaining inventory based on Kanye West's apology we have decided to sell the inventory. But no, that didn't happen. You made a decision because you're scared of your shareholders. You made a decision for 
$700 million, and now you have totally disrespected a community. And if I were Jewish, I would literally be on every single blog and every single podcast. I would literally be kicking and screaming. Um, you, you know, if you're going to come out and you're going to support a community and then you're going to go back on that community, you're going to have to suffer consequences. So I don't know what the Jewish community is going to do. I don't know how they're going to react to this, but whatever the Jewish community does, I'm standing beside them because this is wrong. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy, Friend Out Loud. Peace!